playoff. Some say it's too many. We think it deserves a look. Right here, Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the seven seasons during the college football playoff era and what a 16-team playoff would look like each season based on two models. We also looked at the 18 format based on two models and a similar approach. So for the 16-team videos, this is what we're doing. We're looking at 16 teams. If you just take the college football playoff rankings, which I do not support or propose, but if we would just take the college football playoff rankings, so that we, we've got the same process. So we would just go with that going forward. We've got these 13 people that uh, select and rule everything and have the complete authority of the playoff. And they are selecting the top 25 teams right now. And we're taking the first four to go to the playoff. We would just take the first 16 and go to the playoff. That's one format. Second format is going with all 10 conference champions. So there is a decision that needs to be made concerning the group of five. Either include them formally, structurally, or exclude them completely. Do not tease them, patronize them, say that they're considered, that they're in it, they are being evaluated. Yes, but we've had several undefeated teams, Coastal Carolina, Cincinnati, UCF twice, and others who have not even come close to a playoff appearance. So they're not truly considered in a way that they are included. So either include them or exclude them formally. That's what needs to happen. And in the next few weeks, I'm going to unveil my playoff format, my proposal, along with a scheduling proposal, because the two need to go hand in hand. Because if you're evaluating teams to select to go to a playoff, therefore you need to fix scheduling so it's equitable and the teams can truly be evaluated on a near even playing field. All right, we're going to 2017. Here's the 16-team playoff based on the model in which we um, – select the 10 conference champions. They all earn an automatic bid. Here are your seedings in 2017. This was the year that Alabama got in as a four seed, beat Clemson, beat Georgia in overtime, won the national championship. We had two SEC teams in. Alabama did not win its division. Clemson's the one seed. FAU is the 16 seed, is a 10 and three team and conference champion. Eight, nine game. A rematch of the 2016 or 17 Rose Bowl a season later with USC and Penn State. USC won the Pac-12 this particular season at 11-2. The 4-13 game is Alabama. We kept them in the fourth seed. And Boise State, who won the Mountain West Conference. And Boise State would be a staple in this playoff as a frequent Mountain West winner. 4-13 game there. The 5-12 game, interesting here with Ohio State, just missing the playoff at 11-2 and two that particular season as the Big Ten champion taking on TCU, the second-place team out of the Big 12 at 10-3. and three. Georgia, who, of course, advanced to the national championship game, had a 13-point lead twice in that game before losing, taking on Toledo out of the MAC at 11-2. and two. UCF, their second consecutive appearance as an undefeated team, American Conference champion. The seven-seed against a 10-seed Miami, of course, the Canes that particular year went 10-0, and lost their final two games to Pitt and Clemson in the ACC championship, but they would make it as a 10 seed based on the wild card system. Oklahoma Troys, the 3-14 game, and then Wisconsin-Washington, an intriguing Big Ten Pac-12 matchup with uh, the two second-place teams of sorts in the Pac-12 and the Big Ten going at it. Wisconsin was undefeated before losing to Ohio State that season in the Big Ten Championship game by one score. Okay, who was left out? Auburn, difficult choice here at 10-3, and three, but they don't match up against the other wild card teams. Uh, they had a worse record. Then we have a litany, a host of 9-3 and three teams, which include LSU, Michigan State, Virginia Tech, Oklahoma State, Northwestern, and Notre Dame, all 9-3. and three, But it was a pretty clear choice. As we went for the 10-2 and two teams over the 10-3 and three teams, and the reason why I selected TCU over Auburn, and I am not suggesting that this is the way to do it or this would be my format. This was just one way to do it. I tried to even out the appearances per conference. So the SEC already had a second-place team in Alabama, so the SEC already had two. The Big 12 only had one, so instead of three for the SEC and one for the Big 12, I broke the tie with TCU advancing to a conference championship like Auburn. Both teams were 10-3. and three. I went with the Horned Frogs because I didn't want that 3-1 to one split. All right. 
That's one format. The other format, just simply the college football playoff rankings. And because of the way the college football playoff committee favors the power five considerably, you're always going to see far less group of five teams in this format. A lot more brand names, power brands in college football. The 116 game, Clemson, Michigan State. The Spartans went 9-3 and that particular season, beat Washington State in the Holiday Bowl. The 8-9 game. Interestingly enough, the same as the other format. 8-9 would be USC Penn State. The 4-13 game, Alabama and Stanford, two teams that I don't believe have ever played. Interesting matchup there. Ohio State UCF in 2017. That would have been intriguing. Ohio State and UCF, the 5-12 game. The 2-15 game. Now, we could do something about this in a real-life format in which um, the committee or my committee could look at rematches and kind of frown upon those and move a team a space to, to avoid rematches for obvious reasons. So the 215 game, just based on the playoff rankings, would have been Oklahoma TCU, but they played twice already. Why would we want to see them play three times? But just based on the rankings, that was the 215 game. The 710, Auburn, Miami. Good matchup there. The 314 game, Georgia, Notre Dame. Georgia, Notre Dame. They played in the regular season in South Bend, and even though the Bulldogs were good enough to come within that much of a national championship, they barely beat Notre Dame in South Bend 20-19. to So that would be a rematch. Wisconsin-Washington, um, like the seedings that I, um, that I came up with based on the entry of all the 10 conference champions, we've got another um, like matchup here with Wisconsin taking on Washington 6-11. That's the rundown for 2017 here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. So we take the deep dive on the game we all love. Best discussion, debate, and analysis every day. So if you like what we do, smash the like button. Please uh, subscribe. If you haven't seen enough, then just stay right here. Check out the live streams. But when you subscribe, you hit the bell for the notifications. You know when we're going live which is just about every day and typically multiple times per day. Again, here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football.